the Sacramento Entrepreneurship Academy to me. It's, it's been a network. It's just a bridge. I've always had a lot of ideas on what I'd like to do after graduating from college. So, so what is it that you do want to do then? Well in the future, you know, I have several career goals, but I can see myself having a, a career in finance. I could also see myself being a professional photographer. Maybe even owning my own record label is something that I've always dreamed of. So really, the possibilities are, my, my ideas are limitless. So, uh, so what does the Sacramento Entrepreneurship Academy mean to you? Well, it's just a great community that I feel very honored to be part of. The fact that I can be part of that community is very, very important to me. And the SCA really helped me go back to my entrepreneurial roots. And now I have a very, very clear mission life. It, it really uh, taught me how to think critically. The SCA showed me that I need a map and showed me how to draw that map. Um, I would never have found my way to the Capitol so that I could file my LLC letters. <laughs> the value of the Entrepreneurship Academy is that you learn to build a business plan, uh, you get real world business experience, and you, uh, for life, have a business network that you can rely on and work with. Outside of work and outside of being an entrepreneur, we're like, what's your passion? What do you love doing? I have this team of women that I've nurtured over the last few years and they're learning how to run their own business. Huh. And so not only are they delivering our product, they're learning how to be you know, entrepreneurs. Well, I love skiing, anything outdoors, yeah. uh, hiking, uh, backpacking, uh, you name it. I wrote a book uh, about a year and a half ago called The Casual Conservationist. I call it the uh, Lazy Busy Person's Guide to, gr to Greenness. Business is art. It takes the sensitivity, the intuition, form, texture, the curiosity, the exploration, the boldness to create a business as it does a painting or to paint a mannequin. What is your involvement in the Sacramento Entrepreneurship Academy? I'm completely, a thousand percent passionate about it, if that were possible. <laughs> it's a creative think tank full of the best in their fields in the Sacramento region. The board members are fabulous and vibrant and brave and smart. You have this coming together. It's a community of sparkle and collaboration and generosity. It's the most rewarding group that I've been involved with. These students are very giving of their, their creativity um, and of their time. And the board members and the people that volunteer to to teach and mentor um, and lead the students likewise are extremely giving. Uh, I've made a lot of friends with board members. I, I really enjoy the interaction I have with fellow board members and, and uh, uh, you know some of the speakers we have are just phenomenal. So um, I try to take advantage of that in terms of participating in Saturday sessions because you know the, uh, the, you know, the quality of presentations and the, the level of experience is really uh, um, something that's fun to be a part of. We're here in my theater because storytelling is really important to me, visual storytelling. Uh, the way that I had a lot of my entrepreneurial success was in creating tools to tell stories for filmmakers to use. And so for me, having a room like this is not so much a sign of, or a status of success. It's a sign of passion because it's the passions that drive people towards success. It's never the quest for money. It's the quest to fulfill your own passion. Entrepreneurs build the structure of our society. They're really one of the remaining few classes of heroes that are out there because they help build jobs and help drive our economy forward. So I think in the future, the SEA plays a key role now in educating young entrepreneurs that want to go forward and take on that challenge. There are millions of stories to choose from, and so picking a favorite is really difficult. So I'll pick the one that's personally most interesting to me. And that's my own story because it's a story that's not finished yet. And I have the ability to now affect the outcome of that story every day of my life going forward. I think it's important for everybody as an entrepreneur to realize that they are building their own story. They're the kind of unique people that actually take control of their story instead of being a character in the story. And that's the difference between regular people and entrepreneurs.